Hey everyone, it's Matthew here in the greenhouse at Earthworks. I want to tell you a little bit about some of the new plants that we got in here recently. We've been having a hard time getting some of these plants this last year, but we got a really, really nice selection in yesterday. And I want to show you guys a few of them. This right here is the Alocasia Maharani. It's really nice. It kind of has like a silver hue to it, almost looks metallic. The undersides are really light in contrast to the dark top. Uh, really easy to grow, low light. And then we have the black velvet. These things flew out of here last time we had them in. Instead of just one tray, I got two trays. So we got about 60 of them in right now. They probably won't last too long, but these are spectacular. They look like they're gonna be soft and velvety, but they are actually um, not. But they do call them black velvet because they do look like they are gonna be kind of soft and velvety. Uh, really easy to grow, just like the Maharani. A little further down, we have the pink dragon that I want to introduce you to. At first glance, it kind of has a similar appearance to the uh, Amazonica or the Poly, um, but you can see it has a very striking pink stem on it, which is really nice. Slightly different shape here at the top, a little bit irregular. Each one of the leaves has a slightly different look to it. Um, it has dark veins on the backside, uh, which look really nice in contrast. Uh, but it's a really, really nice plant uh, for the low light or bright indoor situation. Right next to it, we got the Calathea orbifolia. These are spectacular. Let these grow. As they grow, bump them up into larger and larger containers. I have seen photos of these. I have not grown this one myself. I've seen photos of these that are mature and they're about two by three, three by two, they're gigantic. And the more mature the plant gets, the larger the leaves get, very dramatic. Again, low light, fantastic plant here for uh, Northeast Florida. This is the ficus audrey. So a lot of you are familiar with the fiddle leaf ficus, the rubber plants. Um, this one is very similar to the rubber plant. However, it's got a nice green, light green leaf with very distinct veining on it. You can see these plants are nice and full in this size, really easy to grow. This will make a nice house plant outdoors in medium to pretty bright light. Super easy to grow and they're pretty fast. So you can bump these up into larger containers and uh, you can grow these kind of like as a shrub, but I've also seen people um, prune off the lower leaves and lower branches and kind of train it up more like a tree form, uh, which is really nice and gives it a different look but these ficus audrey are really, really cool. It's been years since I've seen this one. This is the Pelea Moon Valley. It's got a really, really nice texture on it. Nice veining of kind of a, a light underside to it, uh, but that purple streak on the center vein and the, the details in there, really nice. Uh, it's kind of soft, velvety with a little bit of coarseness to it but just a really, really great texture. As far as plants go, this is really, really great. Here's another one I had never seen before. This is Ficus umbellata. You see it's got a nice vertical form to it. This will make a great house plant in a bright situation, outdoors in lower light. Um, this is gonna grow into a, a much larger plant. So be prepared to bump this up into larger containers and allow it to grow. It could be a striking focal point on the patio, on the lanai, on the porch, in the corner of a room, uh, or up on a table with a saucer underneath it. Really cool, you'll see it's got the distinct ficus sheath here on the new leaves, very similar to what you'll see on other ficus. So you get a little color there. You get a little bit of subtle color on the veining as well, but these large oversized leaves are very dramatic. I only have a handful of these. The employees are already gobbling them up, so if you get this video here, uh, and you're interested, go ahead and uh, come in as quickly as possible. I got like five or six left. In addition to uh, a lot of the really interesting house plants that we just got in, we did get a new shipment of succulents as well. We got a nice assortment of uh, various uh, types of aloes, some that are very unusual, so come check these out. We still have the uh, Sansevieria Samurais in stock as well, as well as some really nice Haworthia and some Gasteria. So come check us out. We are open seven days a week. These plants are flying out of here. We're getting new shipments in all the time. See you guys next time.